Welcome back ladies and gents. It is a brisky morning out. Just going for a little drive with Udo here. Headed over to uh, ship out some parts. But um, yeah, let's see what we can get into today. So the beginning part of my day consisted with uh, a lot of busy work and cleaning. Clean the shop. Um, after I do one project I like to give it a clean before we start another. And my neighbor brought down another quad. All right, Uno, what do we got here? Oh, Yamaha Kodiak 400. Yeah, and it's seen uh, it's seen some better days. Definitely been wrecked. That uh, that rack is a, a sure it's a dead giveaway of a rollover. But um, interesting interesting setup here. Pretty dirty. Yeah, pretty dirty. But it does run, so that's uh, that's kind of new. So like I said, apparently the thing runs. Um, I actually, I just rode it up and down the driveway. It doesn't run great, but it's cold, so I don't know, we'll see. But they want a service done to it, including like the differentials, go through the whole thing. Apparently they bought it brand new and have never serviced it. Um, I don't know, the thing looks like 15 years old. I can't imagine it never getting an oil change, but we'll see, I don't know. There seems to be a, a common theme with these quads, and that's rodents' nests. Look at that air filter, oh my goodness. So this thing is in 1994, and I don't think it's ever been serviced. I think he was telling the truth. But uh, let's start off with doing an oil change and putting a new air filter in it and see what else it needs. All right, so got the oil draining out. It's a 19 that uh, is the drain plug. And to get to the filter on this guy, you gotta take the shifter off and then should be right under that cover there. All right, your filter sits in this mid block here, and then this is the outer cover. And this guy is our new filter. Boys, look at that plug. That is definitely an original from 94. Yeah, she's gonna like this new one big time. So I've seen a lot of bad air filters, but man, this guy, is really bad but uh don't worry you got that freshy little moose action going on oh buddy of course uno's helping big time dun, 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 dun. clean this mess up we got a little dark on us last night had to call her quits but uh back at it again today and we are going to flush the brakes because that is nasty looking. And if you don't have one of these, uh, I don't know what they're actually called, <clears throat> um, but it sucks the, uh, the fluid right out, makes bleeding brakes a thousand times easier. Let's see what it actually looks like in here. Ooh. Oh yeah, that is disgusting. Now this thing. This thing is super dirty. I've been uh, trying to get in there and clean it the best I can. I just pulled the plastic cover off. That is nasty. The differential oil. So that's the filler there. And then underneath there's a drain. It takes 80 weight. And uh, yeah, let's see how much comes out of it is down there. And it's pretty small. And I didn't have a funnel small enough, but modified I think that'll work to get the uh, rear diff oil you need to take off that skid plate and there's a nice little bolt underneath and the fillers right up top just fill it up to uh, the threads same with the front all right guys that's gonna be a wrap on the uh, Kodiak service got the oil change did the diffs uh, air filter lubed everything adjusted everything the brakes included, flush the brakes, big time, those were nasty. Yeah, things done. 
Apparently we have another one coming that's a, a little bit uh, worse condition, so stay tuned. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe while you're here. Uh, as always, thanks for tuning in, and uh, we'll see you on the next one.